Hi children, wishing you a great day. Pretty sure you might have read the lesson point number 1 to 11. And you have your readers pen pencil to jot down the notes. Watch the video carefully, listen to the explanations given and answer the questions asked in between. Hope you learnt the question answers also. Before starting the class, a short recap of last class. First, let me ask a few questions and check whether you are able to answer my questions correctly. <coughs> First, who was Annie Frank's father? Second question. What was Annie Fa Frank's father? Third, what business did Otto Frank have? Fourth, who was Margot Frank? Fifth one, what important did most people have about importance? Did most people have about Annie Frank? And sixth one, who was Mr. Van Den? I think you have guessed the answers correctly. Let me tell the answers and you check it out whether what you have said is correct. First question, who was Annie Frank's father? Otto Frank. What was Annie Frank's father, he was a banker living in Germany. And what business did Otto Frank have? He traded in spice. Who was Margot? She was Annie Frank's sister. And uh, what did most people think about uh, Annie Frank? That she was not brilliant as Margot because Margot was very promising. Who was Mr. Vanden? He was a fellow refuge whom Otto Frank took him as his partner in his firm. Now let us go into the points to remember. As a pupil Annie was not particularly brilliant. Most people believed with her parents that Margot her elder sister was more promising. And Annie Frank, uh, father, Otto Frank, decided to hide in his own business office, which faced one of the Amsterdam's uh, tree lined canals, a few derelict rooms on the upper floors called the annex, were secretly prepared to house both the Frank and the Van Den families. While in hiding, Annie decided to continue a diary which her parents had given her on her 13th birthday. And when she was in the hiding, she says she has written in the diary, I feel like a songbird whose wings have been brutally torn out and who is flying in dark utterness, dark in dark in utter darkness against the bars of its own cage. Now the synonyms and antonyms of today's part. Ecstasy. State of extreme happiness, rapturous, expressing great delight, grumpy, bad tempered. And antonyms, emotional, unemotional, strong will, weak will, evitable, inevitable. Now let us get into the class. Her diary reveals the trust she puts in a wise father. Her grief because as she feels it, her mother does not understand her. So Annie Frank's diary reveals the trust that she had in her wise father. And her diary reveals her grief because she felt that her mother did not understand her. Now a question now. What does Annie reveal about her mother in her diary? She reveals in her diary that her grief, she felt that her mother did not understand her. 
and what does Annie's diary reveal about her father? Annie's diary reveals the trust that she had in her wise father. The ecstasy of her first rapturous kiss exchanged with the Van Dan's 17 year old son. So ecstasy, the state of extreme happiness and rapturous expressing great delight. So her diary reveals about the state of extreme happiness and expresses the great delight of the first kiss when she exchanged with Van Dan's 17 year old son Peter Van Pelt's. The diary of Annie Frank reveals the transformation of a young adolescent girl with adolescent dreams. Initially she was just a 13 year old girl leading a happy and normal life. Her diary entries were also about her adolescent thoughts and longings. From the reader, finally the flowering personality eager to face life with adult courage and mature self insight. So it reveals the transformation of a young adolescent girl with adolescent dreams. And so initially she was leading a happy and normal life. So her diary entries were also about her adolescent thoughts and feelings. What was the age of Van Dan's son? The question. The answer is Van Dan's son Peter Van Pels. He was 17 years old. Finally, the flowering personality eager to face life with adult courage and mature self insight. Finally, the blooming girl Annie, very anxious and ready to face life with the courage of a grown up person, and she had the maturity, the ability to understand the truth about the people and the current situation prevailed there. Slowly, her diary entries reveals. How her adolescent thought and longings turned into sad and melancholic. Sad so melancholic means sad. And thought provoking when she described the horror of living in hiding. On a slip of paper, Annie wrote fake names which she intended to use in case of obligation. Annie's intention was to publish the diary so she used fake names in the slip of in a slip of paper so that it can be used in case of publication question why did annie write fake names on a slip of paper annie wrote fake names on a slip of paper which she intended to use in the case of publication for the time the diary was her own secret which she wanted to keep from everyone, especially from the grumpy dentist with whom she had to share her tiny bedroom. So grumpy means a bad temper. So we know the diary is a diary is for a personal remembrance. Later when you read it, it gives pleasure. When they recall or recollect the past memories. So it is a personally and secretly maintained book. So it was so for even Annie. It was her own secret book. Which she wanted to keep away from everyone. Especially from the grumpy bad tempered dentist. That is Mr. Fritz Pfeffer. She shared her tiny bedroom with the dentist, Mr. Dussel, Dr. Fritz Pfeffer. Now a question, with whom did Annie share her tiny bedroom? She shared her tiny bedroom 
with the grumpy dentist Mr. Darcel that is Dr. Fritz Pfeffer. Her father allowed her to put her diaries in his briefcase. He never read them until after her death. Annie's father was so understanding that he allowed her to keep her diary in his briefcase. Annie had so much belief for, in her father that she kept the diary in his briefcase. Otto Frank too kept up his, her trust on him. He never read the diary till her death. After her death, when Mike Gaze gave the diary to him, he started to read it. Until then, he never read Annie's diary which was kept in his briefcase. Now answer question here. How does Annie try to keep the diary a secret? Annie wanted to keep the diary a secret from everyone. She used to hide the diary in her father's briefcase. On August 4th, 1944, one German and four Dutch Nazi policemen suddenly stormed upstairs. How the secret of the annex had been revealed is not known. Where are your money and jewels? They shouted. So in 1944, on 4th August, one German and four Dutch Nazi policemen suddenly rushed, stormed means rushed upstairs to that secret annex, the hiding. But how the secret of the hiding place had been revealed was not known. As they entered the annex, they screamed and shouted asking for the money and the jewels that they had. Mrs. Frank and Mrs. Van Dan had some gold and jewelry. It was quickly discovered. Looking round for something to carry it in, one of the policemen noticed Otto Frank's briefcase. He emptied it on the floor, barely giving a glance at the books. Then the people of the annex were arrested. It was quickly discovered that Mrs. Edith Frank and Mrs. August Pels, that is Van Dan's wife, had some gold and jewellery. One policeman looked around for something to carry the jewellery and gold that they have looted from them. He by chance noticed Otto Frank's briefcase in which Annie Frank kept her diary. The policeman emptied the briefcase on the floor. He just gave a glance, a short look at the notebooks, the tartan cloth, the bond book and the exercise books. Later, they arrested the people of the annex. Now, a question. When were the people in the annex arrested? They were arrested in the year 1944 on August 4th. Who arrested the people in the, in the annex? One German and four Dutch Nazi policemen. What did they take from the people in the hiding? They took gold and jewellery from Mrs. Otto Frank and Mrs. Van Der. In the beginning of September, while the allied armies were Rapidly approaching the Netherlands, the Franks and the Vandans and the dentist were carried in cattle trucks to Auschwitz, the Nazi death camp in southern Poland. So, allied armies means the joint army of the Britain and the other forces during the First and the Second World War. So, in the beginning of September, while the joint armies of the Britain and the, and the other forces were 
fast approaching the Netherlands, the Franks and the Vandans and the dentist, the captives who were captured in the hiding, secret hiding, were taken by cattle trucks to Auschwitz, the Nazi death camp in southern Poland. Where were all the eight people first carried? Once when they were captured, where were they first taken? And the answer is, the eight people from the secret annex, they were first carried in cattle trucks to Auschwitz Nazi death camp in southern Poland. There, the Nazis separated Otto Frank from his wife and daughters without giving them time to say farewell. Mrs. Frank, Annie and Margot were marched into the women's part of the camp where Mrs. Frank died from exhaustion. The Vandans and the dentist too lost their wife, lives. And so, exhaustion means uh, tiredness. As soon as they reached the Auschwitz camp, the death camp in southern Poland, the Nazis separated the women and the children from the men. Otto Frank was separated from his wife Edith and children Margot and Annie and August Pels was separated from her husband Mr. Herman Van Der and her 17 year old son Peter Van Der. They were not even given time to say goodbye to their family members. So men were put in one separate camp and women in other camp. Mrs. Edith Frank who was forcibly taken into the women's part of the camp died of exhaustion of tiredness. Even the dentist that is Dr. Fritz Pfeffer and the Van Dance family all the three, that is uh, Mr. Herman Van Der and his wife August Pels and their son, 17 year old son Peter, to lost their lives there. So here you can see there about Edith Frank. She was born in the year 1900, born on January 16th and she didn't really get up alone with Annie. She did not understand her daughter much. She died in the year 1945, January 6th and she was then 45 years and she was taken to Auschwitz camp. She died there and she died of starvation. She always kept her food and, and gave it to Annie and Margot. But when Annie and Margot had to go to another camp, Edith thought, they were coming back so she didn't eat the food and hid it for her daughter. So that is why she didn't have her food properly. So out of starvation and tiredness she died in Auschwitz death camp, concentration camp. Now a question here. How and where did Mrs. Frank die? Mrs. Frank, Edith Frank was forcibly taken into the women part of the camp died of exhaustion means a tiredness Annie proved to be a courageous leader of her small ostrich group when there was nothing to eat she dared to go to the kitchen to ask for food she constantly told Margot never to give in this is very important question how can you prove that she was a courageous leader and Frank was a courageous leader? It's a very important question. So Annie Frank proved to be a very courageous leader. In the small Auschwitz group, Annie, she was so dare enough to get into the kitchen and ask for food where they did not get anything to eat. So when they were not given much food or nothing to eat, she was so daring that she entered into the kitchen and she asked for food. And uh, second point, she continuously insisted Margot, her sister, not a given. Not a given means uh, 
never to get defeated to face any misery daringly never to admit defeat so how can you prove that any frank was a courageous leader you have two points here first point she was so dare enough to get into the kitchen and ask for food when they did not get anything to eat and point number 2 she continuously insisted mad got never to give in means never to get defeated to face any misery daringly never to admit defeat once she passed hundreds of hungarian jewish children who were standing naked in freezing rain, freezing rain waiting to be led into the gas chambers unable to grasp the horrors inflicted upon them in the worlds of world of adults oh look dear eyes she whispered it so happened that once she had to look at a very horrible sight one day any frank saw hundreds of hungarian jewish children who were made to stand nude means naked in the free, freezing rain they were waiting there before they were sent into the gas chambers you can see the pictures of the gas chambers here so the children will be made to stand in the freezing rain after that they will be sent inside these gas chambers gas chambers means a hollow space in large rooms which was filled with gas she was unable to fully understand the unpleasant and disgusting harm caused upon them in the midst and in the world of adults she was unable to withstand the painful experience caused upon those hundreds of hungarian children she couldn't be a silent passer by oh look their eyes she mumbled looking at their prying eyes so maybe when the children are sent into these uh, like gas chambers out of already they will be very cold starting in the freezing rain and shivering there again when they are sent inside this gas chambers i think or out of uh, like suffocation the children will die that is what happen so this is another incident which proves her courage so what horror did any see one day in the camp this is also a very important question one day any frank saw hundreds of hungarian jewish children standing naked in the freezing rain waiting to be led to the into the gas chambers she was unable to understand the horrors there now home assignment so today's class is over we wind up with that now uh, home assignment class work learn and write question number 19 and additional question answer 6 question number 9 uh, 6 you have to learn and write homework why did any write fake names on a slip of paper question number 2 why does any reveal about her mother in her diary question number 3 how does any try to keep the diary a secret and the grammar part do fifth main sub main b and the second one page 28 do the homework and post it tomorrow thank you